Okay, children, so I realized that you guys don't know how to use Mac computers. You look at a Mac and you freak out. So, I'm just going to take you to some of the basics, all right? Because your Mac should pretty much look like this, except it has one extra icon right here for Serta port, which is what we use to log on to our testing, but you don't have to worry about that. All right, so here, right here, this whole space, these leaves, that's called your desktop. Here you have your hard drive, and here you have your scratch drive. It should either say scratch drive or lay C. It just depends on when I installed it and how it was installed. Your hard drive right down here, it says how many gigabytes are available. This one has 846.52 gigabytes available. And if you don't know anything about gigabytes, that's a lot. Um, over here in your scratch drive, it tells you how many uh, bytes are, how much space is available. This one has 1.68 terabytes. So like 100 gigabytes equals a terabyte, or maybe it's a thousand. I don't know, either way. This has this has a lot of space available. So that's your hard drive, your scratch drive, and then like I said, you have your SERTA port right there. What you have at the bottom, right down here, is called your dock. You can shrink this, you can expand it. You have your trash can, and you have your downloads folder, your documents folder, your applications folder, and your admin, or for you guys, it would be your video folder. So what you have is your basic finder. So if I could describe a finder, it would be like Windows. And it's always going to default to all your files. And it's going to show the last files that you guys had open. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, your images and your PDF documents and then your music files. You guys should not have a lot of music on there because I have not really allowed you to put a lot of music on there. It tells you you have 5,049 items in here. You can also make these icons bigger or smaller. I'm gonna suggest that you guys keep it at a normal visible size. You don't need to see everything. However, you just need to get an idea of what you have available to you. And it separates them by images, PDF documents, music, movies, presentations, and it just categorizes them for you. You don't have to worry about that. Right here, it tells you what's on your desktop. Right now, for me, nothing. Here's your downloads folder. Everything that you've downloaded to your computer, whether it be sound effects, um, documents that I posted on Edmodo, they're going to go to your download finder. As you can see, I've downloaded a lot of stuff. Your admin, I'll get to that in a second. For you guys, it's going to be video. Your movies, pictures, your music, me, your documents, your apps, your applications. Right up here, you have your whole Adobe suite. Then you have some other stuff on there. Um, that you have available to you, your hard drive, and for me I have my Google Drive, and then your scratch drive. So it's just important to know these things because a lot of us don't understand how Macs work. You can change the way you look at the file. This is icon view, list view. I don't even know what to call that view, but it'll tell you what's in each folder without you having to open up a new window. And then right there it gives you like a nice preview view. Um, and it, right here, it tells you the last thing. If you're searching for something, if you're saying, hey, I lost my, you know, project, it's going to look for everything that says project, every folder in there that says project. So you have that available to you. Um, so let me go through the basics on how to create a folder in this next video.